The prime coat is essential in road construction, serving as a binder between the base layer and the bituminous surface. It seals the base, prevents water infiltration, and strengthens the road structure by enhancing the bond between layers. On a foggy morning, our team gathered at the site to execute the DBST first coat application. Equipment such as the pneumatic roller, bitumen distributor, and decanter was ready, while workers prepared to perform their tasks with precision. The process began with workers cleaning the road using wire brushes to remove loose debris and dust. Hand brooms were then used for finer cleaning, followed by a compressor machine to blow away remaining particles, leaving the surface clean and dust-free. Bitumen blocks were melted in the decanter, transforming them into a liquid state. The liquid bitumen was pumped into the bitumen distributor's tank, where it was heated to 170 to 190 degrees Celsius. To achieve the proper viscosity for penetration into the base, kerosene was mixed in the distributor tank at a ratio of 40% kerosene to 60% bitumen. The mixture was heated and stirred thoroughly, ensuring readiness for application. Surveyors marked the road alignment before the prime coat application. Pegs and chalk lines defined the boundaries and geometric specifications of the road, ensuring precision during the process. With the bitumen mixture prepared, the bitumen distributor began spreading the prime coat. The target spread rate was 1.2 litres per square metre, verified through the tray test. The tray test was conducted to ensure the correct application rate of bitumen. Trays, 30 by 30 centimetres and 1 centimetre deep, were placed at intervals of 20 metres along the road section. The empty weight of each tray was recorded, 1.16 kilograms. After the prime coat application, the trays were retrieved and their filled weights were measured, 1.299 kilograms. The weight of the bitumen in the tray was calculated. Filled weight minus empty weight equals 1.299 kilograms minus 1.16 kilograms, which is 0.139 kilograms. The volume of bitumen in the tray was determined using the specific gravity of VG30 bitumen, 1.017 kilograms per liter. Volume equals weight divided by specific gravity, which is 0.139 kilograms divided by 1.017, resulting in 0.137 liters. The spread rate per square meter was calculated. Spread rate equals volume divided by tray area times one square meter, which is 0.137 divided by 0.09, approximately 1.52 liters per square meter. Since the spread rate exceeded the target, the bitumen distributor's speed was increased to reduce the application rate to the desired level. Once the prime coat was applied, the surface was left to cure for 24 hours. This curing time allows the bitumen to penetrate the base layer, forming a durable bond. In some cases, the curing period may be extended until the surface is completely dry. From cleaning the surface to marking alignment applying the prime coat and conducting the tray test, each step ensures a high quality road structure this meticulous process strengthens the bond between layers, leading to a durable and resilient road.